Westwind stage. All right. Let's go ahead and move a little bit. Move. Stance of motion. Elbows in, hands out in front. Three foot ceiling. Stay low. Staying low, staying low. Chest is down, cannot read your t-shirt. Stop swinging, do not swing your arms back by your hips. Keep your hands in front. A lot of you all swing those arms back by the hips, you don't do that. Down block on the whistle. That means your forward leg, if your right foot is forward, you're kicking it back and punching your right fist into the mat. There you go. Down block on the whistle. Let's do two hands into the mat on this down block. Right leg back, two hands into the mat. On my go, no butts, no knees. No butts, no knees. Hip heights, go. No butts, no knees. Legs under only. Legs under only, keep it moving. Base position, we are sprawling. Sprawling from our knees here. Remember to keep your chest up, your arms locked out, sprawl on the whistle. I want you to stop. Don't bring your knees up till the second whistle. Hips should be punched down, chest should be up, arms should be locked out. One whistle. Keep that head up, arch it back. Good. We're in a wrestling stance, we're gonna sprawl again. We're gonna do two whistles. First whistle, you're gonna sprawl and hold that arched position. Second whistle, you're gonna come back up to your stance. You're not gonna come out of your stance. You're gonna come up three foot ceiling. You're gonna stay down there for a second. One whistle. Make sure you're getting that back down, those hips down. Keep that head up. Don't look at the mat when you sprawl. Never look at the mat when you sprawl. Hands out in front. Spin on hands and toes. You're gonna to spin to the right on the whistle, spin to the left on the next one, reverse the directions. You know what I mean? Make sure your toes are behind you like you sprawled and you're spinning around behind the man. You cannot have your knees up in front where you can reach and grab any legs. Spin to the right. Keep those feet behind you. Move your hands too. You gotta move your hand. Left. To the right. Keep those feet behind. Move those hands when you spin. Left. Right. Facing this way, when I blow the whistle, you're gonna sprawl and then you're gonna do that spin. You're gonna face the opposite wall in your wrestling stance. Ready? Good. Keep those feet behind you when you spin. Hands in front on your stance. Keep those feet back when you circle. Don't just stand up. Circle. Circle like you're scoring, like you sprawled and you're scoring behind. Keep those feet back here. Four whistles on the stand up. Outside, inside leg, doesn't matter to me. First whistle's getting the foot up. And then you gotta be sealed off. Inside elbow's gotta be sealed off, touching your ribs, right? Your outside hand is on his four fingers and you've got pressure into the wall already on that first whistle. All right, seal it off. You're pretending you've got four fingers on that hip. Elbow is tight to the inside, elbow is tight to the ribs. The hand is up high enough. You could, you could touch your cheek with your inside hand, Tristan. Touch that cheek, there you go. From this position, 
We are going to pivot or push up into the wall, up to your feet. You've got one hip further than the other. The side where your right hand is on, that hip should be further than the other. All right, you're elongating them like that. So Trent's got it right, right here. All right, third whistle, you're slapping them. You're keeping pressure right here. Make sure your hips are not on the wall. Third whistle is putting his hand in the back pocket, locking out your elbow. Fourth whistle is taking that arm across your body, that seal arm, and then cutting into the wall and then getting in your wrestling stance. Good. Let's go back again. Off the wall, you should down block. As soon as you cut and you're facing the wall, you should down block and prepare for him to possibly come right back in on the legs. You've got a down block. First whistle. Pressure into the wall already. Pressure into the wall, Brody. There's no pressure into the wall. Lean into the wall. Put some more into the wall there. Push up. Pressure into the wall. Your opponent. Back pocket. Cut. Down block. Wrestling stance. Moving. One more time. Down block. There you go. One whistle. Back down. We're going to do one whistle. One whistle. All the way through. Do it correctly. Back down. One more time. Good. From our back here, we're just going to bridge up on the whistle. Just a bridge. No hip heisting. Hold that position for a second. Let's work your necks a little bit. Work your necks a little bit. All right. Back down. All right. Now on the whistle, let's bridge up. The second whistle, we're going to hip heist leg under towards your belly. First whistle, bridge up. Make sure your shoulder blades are off the mat. Next whistle, hip heist, leg under to your belly. All right, go back to your back. Make sure when you hip heist to your belly, you automatically post away from your opponent and get your head and chest up off the mat. Bridge, hip heist. Knee is posted away, post the knee away, bend the knee away. Head and chest up. Let's go back to your belly, or your back, my bad. Bridge up first whistle. Hip high second whistle. Posted knee, as soon as we hip high to our belly, head and chest up, elbows in. Let's go hands out, back again. Hands out, like you're preventing them from grabbing wrist. Let's go again, ready? Bridge it up. Hip high. Elbows in, hands out. We do not want him to reach underneath and grab wrists. Turn your thumbs out. Turn your thumbs out. There you go. Thumbs out. One more time. Bridge up. Hip high. Post away. Good. On Good. your belly. Put your knee back. Just lay on your belly. Lay all the way down. Flat on your belly. All right, so we're going to build our base. So you're going to post your knee away. Post your knee away, then you're gonna dig your palms into the mat and take that butt cheek over that heel. Build your base. There you go. And then we're gonna go back down. And we're gonna do the opposite side. Post the opposite knee. Dig your palms into the mat. Push backwards. Take your butt cheek over your heel. Build a base. Do it again. Keep going. Chest has gotta be up. Post away. Push back. Butt cheek over heel. Don't push up. Push back. Dig your hands into the mat until your butt cheek is over top of that opposite heel. Post away, dig, push back. You're just kind of pushing up and elongating, Jakari. Dig your hands into the mat. Dig them into the mat. You're gonna have weight on top of you. You gotta post away, you gotta dig, 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 dig. Keep pushing back, because you've gotta push him up. He's gonna be on top. Push, 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 push. Opposite leg, post it up. Push, 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 push. There you go, good. First whistle, you're gonna bridge. You're going to hip high second whistle, you're going to build base, and on the fourth whistle, you are going to stand up to your feet quickly, cut, 
into you or away from your opponent and you'll be facing your opponent in a wrestling stance. Ready? Bridge. Hip high. Build a base. Stand up and face him. All right, good. Back down. This is how you should always get off of your back. Bridge and keep moving until you're on your feet. Bridge. Hip high. Build a base. Stand up. Face your opponent. Good. Let's go back down. Bridge, hip high, go to base, stand up, face your opponent. One more time. Bridge, hip high, go to base, stand up, face your opponent. Good. Build your base and get to your feet ASAP. And then go get the takedown, right? So one whistle, one whistle. All the way through, you're gonna bridge, you're gonna hip ice, build base, hit your stand up on one whistle. Good. Back down, back down. Good, back down. Hard sitting on the whistle, right? So you're gonna end up, he's on your left side. When we hard sit, we should land on our right hip, the inside of our right hip, right? The hand is gonna curl, there you go, just like that. Go back again, let's do it again. Go ahead, go. Hard sit, that thud of the mat, that's the hard part. Y'all ready on the whistle? Malachi, which way are you going there? On the way to you, Brody. Get a little bit of distance when you hard sit. Remember, we got an opponent on top of us. We just don't want to spin out underneath of him. We've got to get a little bit of distance, so you're going at an angle when you hard sit, kind of away from him. Back in your wrestling stance, get your lead leg forward, shoot again. There you go, good. Stay low, wrestling stance all the way, just shooting straight down the mat. Jog around, jog around, next two, let's go. Take a warm up here. Reach for those legs. Reach for the legs when you shot. Who's the next two? Come on, step up. Go. Next two. Reach for the legs. Pretend you're reaching for legs when you shoot. Get a hold of them legs. Grab off that foot, turn the corner down the line. Go ahead, keep it going. Push off that foot. Push off that foot. Big step at the inside foot. Don't round it off. Do not round it off. Big step at that inside foot once I push off with that trail leg. 90 degrees, turn that corner. Turn the corner, 90 degrees. Turn the corner, push off of it, push off of it. Turn the corner, down the line. Reach for the legs. Reach for those legs. Big step, inside leg, big step. Pommeling, we're starting from uh, thumbs in the armpits. Thumbs in the armpits. He's going to go under one arm, then he's going to go under the other arm. Keep it going. It's not a speed drill here. Do it slow at first. We're getting that inside control. Go under one arm. Do not go both arms at the same time. Left arm, right arm. Left arm, right arm. Right arm, left arm. Whatever is best for you. Pummel inside to the 
Thumbs in the armpit. Keep your stance, head to head, forehead to forehead there, nice and low. Don't cross your feet. Nice and low, don't cross your feet. Don't cross your feet, stay low. Don't let the other person have his head lower than yours. Now, reach down, this time, keep pummeling, keep going, keep going. We're gonna drop it down to where you're basically in his tricep, or right above it, on his bicep there. Thumb and right, right below his bicep. I right, control the biceps more. So you're not in the arm, you're not thumbing the armpit anymore. You're down the arm, you're further down the arm. There you go, further down the arm. He goes inside, left arm, then right arm, then you go back inside. Move your feet as you do this. Footwork two. Footwork two here. Stay low, stand some motion, forehead to forehead. Not, you don't want him to have his head on, your, on the side of your neck. That gives him the angle to finish a shot. Forehead to forehead. Now wrist fight a little bit, wrist fight. Stay low, stay low, wrist fight a little bit. Try to tie up wrist. Try to break free, tie up his wrist. Do not cross your feet, keep good stance and motion, stay low. All right, so let's let Charlie go. So we're, right now, Jakari goes inside and inside, Charlie goes inside and inside, let's slow it down. Boom. Slow it down so we can see here. Go back, go back, stand back up. Slow motion on the pummel. Inside, inside. Now Charlie, left arm, right arm. Jakari, left arm. Now Charlie, left arm and then the right arm instead of going back inside for the pummel, shooting hand goes to the leg, finishes the shot. There you go, good. That's what we want. Everybody do it. Alternate it. All right. Pommel, pommel, then shooting hand. Instead of pommeling in, watch out. Instead of pommeling in again on like the third time, take it to the legs. There you go. So if he's got inside control, he's going to be the one that's head position sprawling. Nate has outside control. Nate does not let go of his hands. He just penetrates through, and Trent is blocking. Keep your hands on the outside and keep them up, Nate. Don't even reach, Nate. Don't reach. Just keep his triceps. All right, so Trent needs to keep his stance and motion moving, and he needs to match head levels by dropping and using his head as the first line of defense to block Nate from penetrating through. Nate is working on his penetration because he's going to go all the way, try to penetrate all the way through Trent. Go. All the way back up to his stance again. All the way back up to his stance. He is not reaching for legs. No reaching for legs. This is just a positioning drill. Working head position, working stance and motion. And then also for the other guy, working his penetration step. All right, do it again. There you go, switched it up. You gotta make sure his head doesn't get underneath of your head. You gotta drop, you gotta drop your level, bend at your knees and hips, block him off, forehead to forehead. All right, head position sprawl. All right, good.